All right, we'll write negative 10 and 3 eighths as a decimal and a percent. If we have the decimal, the percent will be very easy. And the decimal will automatically be 10 point something because we have our whole value here in the mixed number. So let's look at 3 eighths, which is really just 3 divided by 8. 8 doesn't go into 3, but it will go into 30. Uh, yeah, three times. So 24, subtract, we got a 6. So we'll have to drop a 0. That goes into 67 times. So that gives us uh, 56. And we'll drop another 0. 8 goes into 45 times. So this is the decimal 375. That's the full decimal, negative 10.375. Negative 10.375. To change this into a percent, we're just going to move the decimal over twice and would have negative 1037.5%. There we go.